All right, so I have been playing around with a variety of ideas and different strategies, just testing things, and um, usually when I put together a strategy, I try to put together kind of like the simplest uh, way to get to a point that I want to get to. Um, that's kind of why I never really... Uh, played around too much with Purple Rain. It's just too much clicking for me. Um, I've always tried to find uh, more efficient and faster ways to get buffs or regenerate uh, resources or get to a point where I can reliably block. Just stuff like that. So uh, I picked up a pet a while back and I, I really didn't play with it too much um and I don't know if there's some weird interaction with uh Bun Barrett guest um but um I've been using the uh the chaos born armor for the dodge lash but sometimes I'll actually bring out the shadow raiment armor which actually um has better blocking uh from a pure blocking standpoint um the Dusk Stance as you'll see gives itself plus 12 blocking and gives the monster minus 12 yeah it does more damage um, but so that's 24 blocking right off the top so that's going to be on top of the 69 there and if you remember um, I use 61 as a baseline so 61 and then I need an additional 100, and I think it's 11 at the most. Um, most monsters aren't going to be that. This one actually is. It's a level 150 monster. This is a pure monster. This is probably going to be um, a, a scenario where I would really want to try to push to get an additional 111, just to make sure I wouldn't, wouldn't be hit. Um, so... Um, this pet here is actually um, kind of a surprise, and there's some great synergy here. First of all, I have Havarti Blade, which is a light weapon. And I get uh, the pet and guest celerity. Um, pretty good clip. Um, if I've got Titan's Fall on, and I could go with Geologos, and as you can see, it boosts my blocking by quite a bit. Uh, but if I go Titan's Fall and then Summoning Stone gives me another 8. So right off the bat, that's 24 plus, we'll call it uh, 16. So that's already, I'm already 40 points ahead of the game. So I just need to figure out um, how to get the other 71. But I think I can get it using these two right here. So in this case, I got 42. And then I've gone twice. And now it's up to 85. think this blocking depends on landed hits. I guess that's the big drawback. But if it lands all its hits, it'll actually, the total will actually start to get up to in the 90s. Missed hit there. I think once they fix the um, the BTH issue with pets and guests, if it's just charisma and luck only, I think that'll help a lot. Um, right now, um, with this missing against this monster with 
dexterity who also that means it's going to have some blocking also so as you can see it did pretty well and one thing that's pretty neat about this is it's doing damage and it's providing the blocking so if you can find a way to lower BTH or if you're fighting monsters with low MRM I think um, you are able to um, really push your blocking pretty well So I'm able to do damage, and one thing that about the Shadow Raiment armor, besides the increased blocking, let's say compared to the Hollowborn, the, or the Chaosborn, I mean, um, it's actually, as I'm blocking and attacking, I'm getting a Earth and Dark Vault building, so my pet is actually doing more and more damage as I go. And this armor does take more damage, and I'm giving the monster more damage with my toggle. Um, so it could get through and do some pretty significant damage. This monster may end up killing me because I'm, I'm not really trying to win. I'm just testing. Probably the best way to go is on your first turn it's just a quick mandate hopefully you get uh, both the blind and the choke inflicted and that'll give you that little extra and then if they do hit you it'll be mitigated and then as you can see you have the Elevon up to 150 and it's just going to increase my pet damage There's the risk you, you take right there. But if you were to stack in the beginning, so you start off with 45. So they give you two rounds of 67 in this case. And now, you got 153 because of that initial stack. And the blocking is actually, um, like I said, like I showed before, your. Um, light and darkness Elevon's building so your damage here and your damage here is actually building so again you got two rounds of 45 and that's why this one round grew 
to the level it did. So this is two rounds of 88.84. Should be good enough to block. And then this round will actually be insane. As you can see, 131. And then I think this will start over here. Yeah. And 85 should be enough with the 24 here and then the 8 here and all that stuff. So, this may be the quickest way to dodge lash. You know, you probably should just prime chaos orb over to light. Use your Havarti blade. That starts you off right there with two rounds. Right, you're 24 blocking here, 8 here, and then these guys are just going to just really give you some, some help. And this is the round that'll grow be a hundred and something I think 110 and then this next round will kind of start over by itself here depending on what lands but it's doing damage so you could probably actually stack charisma let's see here let's do this if we get bit better numbers it's 45.88 so this is going to grow pretty good a little bit better 89.64 instead of 85 or 86 or whatever it is and then this round is going to grow, 133, that by itself will be unhittable, no matter your stats. Eighty-seven fifty-two. that's probably unhittable given this armor. So it's basically unhittable and unhittable and unhittable and unhittable over and over and over. Anyway, uh, that's... that's uh, Kind of a quick and dirty cheesy way to play but um, maybe some risk involved uh, maybe you could mitigate it with a, a choke like with mandate anyway that's all I have